So welcome back. Da -da -da. Here we are, chapter 15, grinding my axe. So, good and bad news. Good for me, bad for you. I'm not going to read chapter 15. I've already read it. I don't want to read it again. Why am I not going to read chapter 15? Well, purely for this. In chapter 15, all he does is literally cherry pick any bad figure he can about the modern medical industry. So what? That's literally what I've got to say. So what? You can cherry pick Miss Pete all you want. But that doesn't change the fact that the modern medical establishment does far more good than any treatment you can prescribe. And Pete knows that there has never ever been any studies proving, for example, the efficiency or effectiveness of his treatments. And guess what does he cherry pick in this book? Oh, look at this. Stats. What's this? Approximately 21% of drugs prescribed are off-label use. This means MDs prescribe drugs for conditions that has not been proven effective 21% of the time. Or what sugar pills are better than treating uh, better than treating antidepressant antidepressants at treating depression? So what? In the grand scheme of things, there's a lot more going on than this guy is willing to take. And just cherry picking random bits and pieces like that mm. proves nothing. And he goes on it again. He has a go at statins. Statins are amazing at treating, you know, heart disease and keeping people's blood pressure down. Does he admit that statins are good for people to use? Of course he doesn't. Instead he goes, oh, statins cause uh, liver problems. Yeah, we know that. But you know why that's the case? People overuse the statins that they're given. Don't think, doesn't even think to mention that in this chapter. But again, and again, and again, it's the same thing we've seen time and time again from his book. He cherry picks a bad stat and figure to basically go, ooh, I told you so. That's why there's no point reading chapter 15, Grinding My Axe. Because Pete, in reality, can grind his axe all he wants. The problem is, is that there's this thing called an axe handle. And Pete doesn't have an axe handle to be able to swing his axe. Because he wouldn't be able to hit any trees with it. In his forest, his forest is clear and bare. He has no trees to chop. And because of that, he's got no firewood to make his fire. And that, Pete, is how you use a proper analogy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was chapter 15. We will be reading chapter 16, however. Cure is a four-letter word. So look forward to that.